What's up guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. Today we are working on an Audi A6 with the 4.2 in it that I picked up for about $1,800. And we're doing a transmission service on here, which this car, for whatever reason, will just forget what gear it's in all of a sudden, but no codes, no lights flashing, no indicators of any issues. So what we're going to do is put some new ZF Lifeguard Fluid 8 in there, a new filter, a new gasket, see if that remedies our problem, and we'll do a transmission adaptation reset on the VCDS system. If this is your first time to the channel, smash that subscribe button. I love making videos for you guys on all the stuff that I do on the Audis and stuff. This is a newer one I just picked up. I just got rid of the wagon. Sad day, but here we are. And uh, I also have a video on this custom catch can that I made for this. You guys should see the stuff that this pulled out of it. It's kind of insane just after like 400 miles. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump right into this job. One of the first things you're going to want to do is get your car up to temperature like you do right here. You want to get your transmission up to temperature here. You can use a VCDS, which I'll show you guys soon. Or you can use like a regular scanner, which I'll also show you guys to get the temperature here. But you want to go through all of the shifting points just to get all the fluid moving through here before you drain it. You don't want to drain cold fluid. So I'm just going to do this process for a little bit. You can go into drive, you can go down, you can go into, I don't think you can shift up, so. You can go into sport, it's not going to change anything. You know, just getting the whole range for a little bit and getting it warm. So we'll do this right before we drop underneath there and remove the bolt. And of course, you want to make sure you have all the correct parts. FCP Euro actually sent me the wrong gasket. So this is the correct one for my car. I had to send the other one back. Correct filter. And guys, do not cheap out on this fluid. You can't use other fluid. ZF is the maker of the transmissions for like Audi and BMW and stuff. Make the product directly from them. You can use Audi OEM fluid, and that's like 40 bucks a jug. This is like 20 bucks a jug. Um, I highly recommend this. And if you guys want a little pump like this, or I'll throw an Amazon link down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. This is going to make the job super helpful and you don't want to be spilling all this precious fluid. One downside, this is three ounces and I got eight here, but I'll show you how we tackle that. And of course, filter, gasket, and you need a 16 millimeter to remove the cross member. You guys will also need a 17 millimeter hex like this for the uh, drain plug. Or sorry for the this is for the fill plug and this is for the drain plug if I remember correctly, but you'll need a four a five millimeter and a seventeen. And you'll need a Torx T27 for all the transmission pan bolts and something to catch the dirty fluid in, and that is about it. So let's go ahead and jump right into draining the fluid and getting us ready to get the pan taken off. Then we have this little crossbar going across, and for some reason the previous owner put in maybe they lost the bolt or whatever, but Zing that off first. Now that's out of the way, you're gonna want a nice clean pan and something to catch it on. You're gonna wanna pop that plug right there. Oh shit. All right, my plug was a little uh, seized. I had to yank on it hard, but. Well, that don't look good. It's also not the color I'm putting in, so that's not good. All right, sorry, skipping around a bunch because uh, I'm in a hurry here, so there's my fluid coming out. This is not the color of the fluid that I have, so this might be an issue. I gotta do my research first, but I wanna pop. I guess this is the drain plug and the other one would be the fill plug. So, yeah, you wanna pop that little five millimeter guy out, let it drain, and then we'll take the pan off next. Since most of this is drained out now, what I'm gonna do is plug this back up because I don't want it leaking all over me. And I'm gonna plug the other hole up because I don't want that leaking all over me. So just for now. It doesn't have to be tight, I just want it to stop drips, you know? And I wonder, because I really didn't get that much fluid out, I noticed this leak back here. I wonder if this pan gasket is leaking 
because I only got, I bet you this is about three or four quarts, and look at the color. We're going to put this in clear, something clear to see. But the fluid I'm putting in is blue or green, and this is not the right color. All right, now we want to start removing all of the bolts along here. And like I was saying earlier, guys, check your transmission pan before you get your gasket, or when you get your gasket. Uh, FCP Euro sent me one that had eight bolts on it at first, and my pan is the 13-bolt transmission pan. So I did have to send it back and get another one. So hopefully that little tip helps you guys out as well. Once you remove the pan, you'll get a lot more fluid too. Well, that's gonna drain a little more. And then we'll measure what we took out here. And then that's what we're, about what we're gonna add. So this right here is actually the filter. You can feel it already wanting to come out. So you wanna do this without getting fluid all down your arms. So try to grab it from the sides, pop it right down. And that is how the filter looks. This fluid is definitely tan. So I'm a little concerned that this lifeguard isn't the correct fluid, but everything says it is. So if it ruins my transmission, you guys know why. Because it wasn't. I had a feeling something was wrong, so I did take some time and do some research before I proceeded any further and did find out that the tan color can be replaced with the blue, but you will need a software update and you have to flush your whole entire transmission big hassle. I don't have time for that and I need to get this car back on the road within a few days while I wait for the other fluid to come because I'm in the middle of a move. So I would recommend pausing and reading through all these really quick um, and my suggestion is if you pull out a blue color fluid I would put that color back in. If you pull out a tan color fluid put that color back in. I wouldn't advise mixing the two and I definitely wouldn't try to do the flush and the software update yourself. I've heard the software update sometimes doesn't even work. So I left a link below to everything that I found. And there's a link below to the ZF Lifeguard 6 fluid in case you need that as well. All right, so we ran into a problem here. Um, first problem is this filter says 2006. This is a factory filter. Second problem is this fluid is tan and the fluid that I have is blue. After doing a bunch of research, you can't mix the two without a software update. I do not have time to do a software update. I'm literally forced to put this old fluid back in. So I'm gonna put a new filter, new gasket, clean up all this metal stuff, and I have to use the old fluid because I have to have this car ready, and if it's not ready, it has to get parked somewhere. So that's my only option. It kinda sucks, but here I am. All right, so here's the bottom of the pan. Um, nothing too crazy. We got the usual sludge here. I'd say that's pretty normal. I haven't I've seen a lot worse. There's no like big chunks or anything like that. So I'm just gonna get this pan cleaned out real quick. All right, so I got the new filter on. Got it all wiped up. Gonna put the pan on and throw the old fluid back in there. Yay me. A few moments later. And about 1,400 miles later, guys. I do apologize. I thought I was filming when I put the pan back on, and I guess that I would didn't push the record button and I'm an idiot sometimes so that comes with it but either way we're gonna keep trekking on and uh, stay tuned I am gonna show you guys how to fill the fluid I know I skipped that part but I did put the old fluid back in here put the new gasket on with the new filter and then I drove all the way from Everett Washington to Las Vegas and drained all the fluid out of this and uh, at this point I had the new lifeguard six fluid, but I, I was in the middle of a move and I didn't have time. So at this point the car's already lifted up and I'm just removing the fill plug now. Okay, so one little trick I learned is I took a brick and a piece of wood right here and raised the back up a little bit more. And the reason being, watch out. <coughs> and the reason being, because see that dip in the pan right there? A lot of it is sitting in the bottom of this pan. So if you jack it up and forward, uh, it wasn't dripping at all before, and now we're getting a little more out. The goal is to get as much out as possible. And here's a close up of how I get the car a little higher in the back, uh, just to get more of the fluid out. Um, I use the two bricks and uh, this two by four, maybe not the best method, but just go slow if you wanna get it higher and get that extra little bit out. So at this point I'm just cleaning it up and you can put the drain plug back in because we're not going to need that again. So originally, as you guys can see, I had the lifeguard eight. When I pulled the fluid out of this transmission, it was tan and I did not want to mix a blue and green fluid with a tan fluid. 
Here's the used fluid from the transmission right here. Pretty dark, but very clearly not blue or green. And then here's the, the new transmission fluid. So um, the reason I'm doing this is because if you put the blue-green fluid in, to the best of my knowledge, you have to get a software update to run the blue-green fluid from the Lifeguard 8. I don't want to go get a software update because I've read horror stories in the forums about it. So I found Lifeguard 6. I left a link down below if you guys are looking for this as well. Uh, I found the original Lifeguard 6, and I'm going to put this in it instead. When I pulled out the original filter, as you guys saw, it said uh, 2005 or 2006. All the cars before that date got this Lifeguard 6 fluid. And then after like 2008, they all got the, the newer lifeguard fluid that you can upgrade to. So we're going to put this in the car and see how this works. And fingers crossed that it's the same stuff that we need for this car. We don't have to do any uh, adapt or we don't have to do any software updates or anything like that. We probably will set the reset the adaptations. I'm going to put about three quarts in here. We got about five quarts out, it looks like. And uh, yeah, let's hop into it now. Clearly dog approved. And with how expensive this fluid is, this pump pays for itself easily. This is by far the easiest method I've found to put transmission fluid in in a garage setting at home. All right, so we have about three quarts of fluid in the ATF filler right here. We're gonna pump this up until we get just right before the red zone here. Right there. Make sure it's off and then the best one I've found so far is this little right angle one. It fits up there. I'll show you guys in just a second really nicely. All right, so now we are ready to fill it up. We have the fill hole accessed here. This goes straight up into it like this, and then it kind of just hangs out there. The thing with this one is you got to fill it until it overflows right here, and then you got to cap it off and go start the car. So that's why it's nice to have this little filler because all I do is pump this a few times and then the only thing that I got to do here is just remove this little knob and open this up and let it pump fluid. So as you can see, I'm not really doing anything. I just have it filling up nice and slow. You don't want to go fast here. That's leaking because of uh, all the stuff that I spilt like a dumbass, but. See, so then you just have to keep pumping. See, it'll just slowly leak out and pump more fluid in. So just repeat that process until you get about three quarts in. Make sure you have your drain plug close by too, because it'll do that to you. So that's why you want to pan and all that stuff. All right, once you have it to the point where it's overflowing, hop in the car and fire it up. Do a quick cycle of the gears real quick. All right, now keep it running, but we're gonna go fill up more fluid in it. And a super helpful tip when you're filling the fluid, keep the car as high as you can, because you see how close the exhaust is. You don't want your face to be right there while the car's running, it gets very hot. Stick the pump in there, start filling the fluid up, and you're gonna wanna overfill this thing until fluid starts pumping out of this hole. And then as soon as fluid does pump out of the hole, you're gonna wanna drain, grab the fill plug, and put it in there real quick, finger tight. Uh, I think my camera ran out of memory when I was recording, but basically it'll come overflow out of there and you're gonna wanna just screw it in as quick as you can like you saw earlier in the video, same exact way. Ah, my memory card ran out of space, but you wanna fill this up until it starts leaking like you see in the other clip with the other fluid. I just don't have it for this one. Um, I was up there shifting the gears and it actually ended up spilling out all this fluid, but pretty sure that it's topped off. So I'm gonna wait till this gets up to temperature and I'm gonna check it all out and make sure it's good to go. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.